Yeah, but community. So just like you, my family has has had to adjust for this uh, pandemic situation, and uh, it affected us in a unique way. Um, for me, uh, I had to change my work schedule around to accommodate social distancing at work, but you know that caused other problems at home because I, I wasn't really able to come home early enough to spend as much time as I wanted to with my son or help him with his homework if he needed it. And so since I was coming home late uh, and we were both staying up late, it, it started affecting his grades uh, a bit. So I had to find a new job and as, as much as I didn't want to leave my uh, secure, uh, secure position where, where I currently work, I had to make the change because I had to adapt and, you know, my son's education is more important than anything. And if, you know, when his grades started falling, I knew that I had to be there and had to make the change. So luckily I went online and I started looking up for, you know, positions that were available in my area. And surprisingly, there were still some jobs there available for me. Uh, most, most of the medical companies, which sort of worked out perfect for me because, you know, at this time now, there's a big need for, you know, the medical industry with everything going on. So luckily I was able to find a secure position at a different company and I start next week, which I'm really excited about. And, uh, you know, now the, my, now that my son and I have discussed things over and, and made sure that things are going to change, you know, he seems a little bit more hopeful and, uh, Although, you know, he was losing, you know, sight of, you know, his, his assignments and kind of, kind of um, letting his grades fall. The, the one grade that continually stayed up was, was Avid. And uh, I'm glad he just had that class because, you know, the teachers are just so involved with the, with the, with the parents. Immediately, once his grades started falling, they started emailing me. Um, his Avid teacher would remind me like every Friday to make sure that they have binder checks uh, that Friday. So, you know, they really help him stay on task, which is really good. And it, it, it takes a huge load off of me because since I wasn't there really to keep him on track as much as I wanted to, you know, Avid was there to basically do the, the hard lifting for me. So I'm, I'm really grateful that he's an Avid and I'm grateful that we were able to adjust to this, uh, change just like everyone else probably has to as well and uh, I'm really excited like although you know that avid is good for your student it might be sometimes difficult for your student to understand you know why avid is good and so for me i made sure my little brother was an avid and he's just like two years older than my son so it's so i kind of talked to them the same way and you know, they had a hard time understanding what Avid was about and why they need it. And, you know, why do I need to, you know, why do I need to be Avid to get into college? And, and so what I told my little brother and what I told my son is, you know, if, you know, you enjoy these video games, you enjoy movies, you enjoy, you know, cartoons, you enjoy computers and stuff like that. I told him, you guys can, you guys are basically the future. So I told him, you guys are the future and, you know, future the future is going to hold, uh, you know, many different opportunities for you guys. And in order for you guys to get to those opportunities, like design games or, or uh, you know, design in a character or anything like that, um, you know, you have to go to school and you have to go to college and Avid is going to make your lives just so much more easier. And I told them I did it for me. And I, you know, I explained to them my situation. Well, they know my situation. They saw me live through it, you know? And so I told them, you know, Avid just was the best tool that I could have used. And, you know, uh, so I make sure that they understand that Avid will just make it easier on them, and especially now because it seems really hard for my little brother and my son also too for online school. And so I told them that, um, you know, like if, if they find anything that they, that they enjoy, I, I try to Basically, I try to relate to what they enjoy and what they enjoy now are like, you know, I, I don't know if many parents out there, their kids like Minecraft or or like RC cars or computers or whatever it is. You know, I tell them, like, if you want to be, you know, a gamer or a game designer or something like that, like, 
you can do it, but you got to go to school and have it. It's, it's going to make that much more easier for you guys. I guess some, some advice that I want to give is, you know, um, I guess to relate to them, like to see the things that they like and, and show them that, uh, you know, there, there's something that they could probably enjoy in, in their future. And uh, if they want to get there, you know, they, they got to go to school and I don't know, just just relate to them to the things that they that they want to do. 